So guys, it's morning, I'm in the city and I'm on my way to my meeting for my exhibition. I have to go. So I'm gonna walk a few stations, tram stations. And uh, yeah, this is actually a part of the city where I grew up. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. This was a little castle that's kind of destroyed now. But I'm going down there all the way to the end. And uh, I have like 30 minutes, so I'll go slow. And uh, yeah, my leg hurts. My, my back is horrifyingly painful, but what I found that I need, if not surgically, I do need exercise, of course, and I need a decompress my spine and I was looking into prices it's quite okay so we'll see I'll probably do that because health insurance doesn't do that you have to go privately for that but yeah and now we are coming to a place where I have some bad memories I'm gonna show you and it's this freaking park here this is where in this park here when my grandma got us out of the house my mom and me we were actually here in this park well living almost here we were here almost all the time because we lived close by and our sister was there and dad and we were here in this park and it was just horrifying and it breaks my heart because I'm here right now but can't really escape it so yeah and it's good to yeah and I can see the benches and everything where I was but yeah it's kind of a moody day and everybody's going to school I guess it's morning it's seven something and yeah we'll see what's what but you will see a really strange church when we get there it looks not like something from the star wars looks like a flying flying ship like a like a i don't know something star trooper or somebody would you know have in space you'll see but yeah this is very memory laney for me right now but this is where I used to play when I was little. My, my best friend lived somewhere around here. I was pretty sure it was, yeah, it was, I think, one of those big buildings there in the back. And our school is kind of there, primary school. Yeah, it's fun to remember this freaky stuff. Because, as I said, primary school was kind of hellish for me. And that's where I got my freaking uh, back injury, so yeah. But here we are, walking. Yeah, she lived in those buildings. Yeah, in fact, I, I remember now, I'll show you. But, yeah, my school is right straight down there and then across the street primary and it's nice to walk around here it's gonna be quite warm today if you see there's no snow anymore it's gonna be around 12 to 15 celsius so from minus 11 to plus 12 in two days that's like boom <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna try to decompress my back at home. I saw some tutorials on YouTube. It's all about stretching your back because everything is cramped. So we'll see, but I hope that surgery will happen. I hope that they will help me with everything. If not, I'll look for alternatives. But it's definitely not pain killers and stuff. 
we'll see. After this, I'm going to the health insurance office to get a paper. We're finishing my sick leave. And then I'm free to do whatever I want and to have my exhibitions, my openings, because I couldn't have an exhibition opening last year because I was in a sick leave, so you don't have to, you can't work, so yeah. This is like a business area, so I guess a lot of people are going to work here. And I'm just walking by. I don't know, it's they what I wrote what I read is that the best thing is to walk for the bulging uh, discs and the compressed spine like mine and for freaking scoliosis as well and riding a bike so my bike is going to the shop tomorrow because it's gotta be tuned and stuff's gotta be fixed so we'll see so these are the buildings where my friend lived in that other red one and we had a great time her name was Irene Irena Irene English and she was the best yeah. even if I was a creep sometimes with her but yeah that's weird what I mean it's weird because I was in love with her in that time and she was in love with me and it was so weird for a kid like what I was what 11 12 years old but yeah we're coming to a business section again and it looks pretty bleak here but it's full of people just because everybody's going to school and work so when I'll be coming back probably be empty all the trams and stuff so I'm gonna be able to ride in it I guess I don't want to be in the jungle of people right now everything is full of people so no thank you but that's where main emergency are that's where I used to go where my back would hurt but not anymore those are the big buildings big business buildings which I really don't like but yeah I mean they're small for America they're super small but for us for a really old city it's I don't know but here and there like this everything is kind of vintage so it feels nice to be where I grew up and it's nice to walk anyway it's always healthy but my spine is totally compressed, I can feel it, it's, you can hear it in your ears even, you know, the, the tingling, crackling, yeah, but yeah. So we're still walking, we are next to that big business building which I hate, but you know, to each its own, I wouldn't live, I mean I wouldn't work here. I'm a free spirit. And that's the McDonald's over there all the way where we used to come when I was in college because a friend had a car and we would come here, eat here, drink coffee for hours and then go back to Academy. <sighs> Which we all kind of hated. But we had to do. I mean, because it was like theory subjects and stuff and it makes you ugh. But it's good that I went. And yeah, we'll see what's on. Maybe this year will be better. I mean, I'm starting it with a maybe surgery with a pain relief. We'll see. And with stuff that maybe will change my life forever, really. If the back surgery happens or something, it'll definitely change my life. But here we are, going all the way there, and I have like 
really, really short time together. I can see the ugly church from here. So this is a very popular bar here, a restaurant, Ali McBee in our city. And it's in this big tower. And yeah, just nice to see that. But walking is my goal today. Just walk, 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 walk. I did take a painkiller in the morning, I had to because I wouldn't be able to stand on my foot. And the worst thing is that, you know, I always thought it's just about my shoes. As I said, it turns out it's about my back. So it's freaking weird, but it is what it is. And we're gonna go. Everything's gonna be good. And we're not gonna suffer. And I have to motivate myself, but yeah. It's really not easy at all. It's very hard. But we'll see what happens. So we are this is where I used to play when I was a kid, that's the worst part to see this stuff. It looks so ugly today. When I was little everything was kind of wild and different. Now as a grown-up I can still look through the eyes of a child but you know it's just I don't know, it lost some charm. It lost that childish innocence. And it's fine. But here we are close to the where I have to go. It's like a library and they got a huge gallery, so that's where we're going. Have one more tram estacione and I'm there. So now we are going through the older part, well, older part of the road. They did something here so it's not paved. They probably dig like in front of my building as well. But yeah, we're close by to the place. But basically, this would be like a few more estaciones and we're done with the tram here. So yeah, but we're gonna go this way now because my feet hurt from the gravel. So yeah, I do need some shoes that have low back, low heel and high fingers and that's really hard to find. So yeah, but here we are. It's really weird to be here after so many years. I mean, by foot. Because I was kind of avoiding emotions, but I guess you gotta connect with them again. And here we are coming close to the... <sighs> to the site specific. Just kidding. I don't even know what my exhibition will be. As I said, it's supposed to be some kind of artist book made from 70 drawings that I have, but I don't know what it means, so maybe today I'll get some explanation. We'll see. But we're gonna get here, we're gonna do everything I have to do. And then I'm gonna... Then I'm just gonna go to the unemployment office. No, no unemployment office, fuck. Uh, <laughs> health insurance office come on you know better and when I was little there was my primary position primary doctor was there in one of those buildings there's a doctor it's kind of fun to be here because here is the first time I got my braces for my teeth it was way back <laughs> it's amazing it was in the 80s eight freaking eight and this is the church I was talking about I'm gonna go towards the church we have time but there's a freaking church god this is slippery but there's the freaking church there you can't really see it that good from here but yeah this is all people home 
and yeah this is where I used to play when I was a child it's amazing to me but here's the church I'm gonna walk by it because I have time and I have five more minutes okay that's good Just enough to get there anyway. But yeah. There's the church. You're gonna pass by it so you can see better. See, it looks like a spaceship. <laughs> yep. But anyway, that's the building we're going to. There's the galleries there somewhere, I think. So there's the freaking gallery down there, lower part. So we'll go and see what's right there. And so I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> I came here, amazing. Yes. So we're gonna be waiting here. For a while probably, but, well for five minutes at least, <laughs> yes, but it's fine, I mean it is where the exhibition will happen, so yeah, but that's the exhibition space I guess, the, the windows. So we're going to be sitting here and waiting for a while. Yes. Or we're just going to wait by standing here and watching it as graffiti and this weird wine. But yeah. So I'm on the border of the gallery. We'll see, it's like two or three minutes more, but I'm not sure if she's still, she's already here, if not, it's better just to be here. But yeah, let's wait and I'll talk to you later. So it's eight o'clock and I guess I should go in, but I'll wait for a little bit more because I'm kind of, I don't want to be here like too anxious for, you know. So guys, it's two hours later, I'm done with the interview for the exhibition, I mean the talk about the exhibition and so it's gonna be an artist book, it's gonna be four prints of my works from one cycle, like a little booklet, like, like a real book actually, and it'll be exhibited as a conceptual art and there's gonna be a story in it because I have 70 69 70 works so we'll choose 30 and it'll be like a story about my mom and me because that's what the cycle is about and uh, yeah now we just have to see how it's gonna be printed and what works we're gonna put in and it's gonna be cool we'll see and now I'm going to the tram and to the oh my god this church to the health insurance office and then home 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 because I'm tired as you know and hungry but here we're gonna be waiting for the tram and I think I'm gonna run the tram going to my health insurance office and then home I'm really tired guys I mean I'm up from four now it's 10 so six hours of 
stuff and this was really exhausting two hours of talking about art and this and that and I mean it's fun but you have to know it's really exhausting as well so but after a long time of nothing it's good to work again you know so it is kind of cool so it is great actually but it's exhausting I'll talk to you about that one day Now we're going to my bus station, wait for the bus to go home and yeah, but in short, what it's gonna be with exhibition, it's gonna be four books with my artworks from the 80 drawings, there's gonna be like 30, it's gonna be a story about, you know, mental health, my mom and everything and it's gonna be story through pictures, it's gonna be conceptual, exhibition and I'm gonna answer some questions and you know it's gonna be fun and yeah but right now I'm just worried about my back you know I you know maybe I won't even be able to be on the opening or something or promotion because I'm gonna be in the hospital or I'm gonna be you know Emotionless or whatever. I don't know. We'll see what's what what happens. They're building something here But right now I'm just gonna wait for the bus I just want to get home and rest This is like seven hours of walking and talking right now, so But the girl that works there, you know the curator and stuff. She's really fun. It's really great. So We'll see what's gonna happen, but if she could handle me, then she can handle everything because, you know, I really talk too much, and we'll see. So, my freaking bus is going in 20 minutes, it just went, so I have to wait here for 20 freaking minutes, but it's fine, I can wait. But, yeah, waiting, waiting in the city and feeling pretty not, not, oh god, I'm crazy. And it was fun talking about art and my art and art in general and just seeing that I'm not as dumb as I think I am, you know, because sometimes you forget you are smart, sometimes you forget you did learn a lot, you do know a lot, so it's kind of cool and I don't know, it's just weird everything is kind of weird lately, for me anyway I just want my back to be sorted out and I can be on my way to another you know, uh, how would you say it, another maybe exploration of universes in art multi-universe i don't know 